welcome back to Soulful 2. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Soulful T, lady. Oh my God. Soulful T. Hey, shut that door. Ooh. I'm shut the door. Okay. Hey, you guys. Ooh, hell. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mario your grease pop. Okay. I'll cut that down. Wait for a sec. Okay. I'm going to turn that down for because I have that grease going. Would you just all the way down here? Just come up to my... I'm going okay. to grease is popping on. No, so... Not so cool. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Soulful Tea. And today is going to be fish tacos. I don't know if I call them tacos. My son said the tacos are for like a flat tortillas. So like a fish tortilla or something. So... Like this a is, taco quesadilla? Yeah, I mean, guys, a fish quesadilla? I'm calling them fish taco, my version, okay? Okay. So this is what you guys can need. I'm using card. It's a nice. I got this from BJ's. I'm using card. There's a card fish. It's see. It's um, skinless. It's very meaty and it has a great taste. And it doesn't have any bones in it. And you're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil or a little bit of vegetable oil, whichever you prefer. Obey seasoning. Your lettuce and tomatoes. This paint smells so great. Um, parsley, mayonnaise. Pepper, relish, hot sauce, ketchup, or oh, and cheese. All this is due because of a, I make this great taco sauce that my family oh loves. Yeah. So I made this on Friday, everybody. And my brother and them said, oh my God, your fish tacos are so good. And that sauce was amazing. And I was like, oh yeah, that's my own sauce that I use. So, and I had mentioned it on the show. And a lot of people's like, oh yeah, do fish taco. Let me rest some of this water wood off of here. And so, um, ooh, you know my floor get wet, what happens? So yeah, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go and do the fish taco for you guys. So Brandon stepped back, cause I had this on for a minute. You guys, you know how he like. And this is gonna just go in there. You can keep that so mm -hmm. Oh. I got that. Well, I'm trying to be funny, but it's kind of wet. Extra virgin olive oil. But this is how I'm going to season it. You doing all that? I hope we're getting good quality camera. You see me? I'm, this is going to be my Old Bay seasoning. Because I want to give it that, um, that taste that I'm looking for. And I'm a G, I'm some a pepper. You guys, you know, my go to thing is strictly for color, possibly place. It's fish. It's not going to take that long. And you're going to season both both sides of that. Okay? You guys? So while that's doing what it needs to do, I'm going to show you guys my... I keep saying you guys, but I don't know nobody's name. So, I got to say you guys. I don't know you guys. I don't know you sound like that. My sauce, my taco sauce that I make. This is strictly for fish tacos. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm moving around a lot. You do around. Why do you around so much? Okay. I sneeze over there. Bless I, you. Okay, I just want to make them. I ain't um, sneezing over For this particular sauce, since I'm not making that many fish tacos, I'm going to use about a cup of mayo. That is like a cup of mayonnaise, you guys. Mm -hmm. Relish. How much longer do you use? I don't know. This is about, we're going to do tablespoons. I don't want that much relish. I'm gonna say this is about two tablespoons of relish and a half a cup. A half a cup of who? I got it this time. I hear the fish is frying. Okay, I got it, guys. I got these nails on right, so <laughs> about a half a cup of ketchup. The ketchup is strictly, you know, it's really, I want a half a cup of ketchup. It's really about color for me with the ketchup. And some Old Bay season. Remember, because I wanted to taste, I ain't going to lie. I'm shaking. I'm going to tell you about two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning and about a table, a tablespoon of hot sauce. Spicy. That about, I'm going to this about two tablespoons. That's and I ain't saying teaspoons, my tablespoons. Okay, it don't look that good, but you guys, the sauce. When you make a poi boy, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I have this great poi boy sauce I make too when I make my poi boys here for the kids. When you make a poi boy, or when you make a um 
a fish taco. I mean, anybody can make a fish taco. And you can use tilapia. Um, you can use a cod. Like, I'm using this cod. It's really meaty. Or you could use, um, you make a salmon. Oh, I never had that before. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Now, I'm just going to taste this with my finger. That sauce is great. Okay. It's not too spicy. It don't taste too much too um much like ketchup and mayonnaise. So I just want to and the card is really see I'm gonna turn this up so so I turned it down because of branding. But I, but I wanted it because it, it's seared. It, this is not gonna take long, but it's not brown enough for me yet. The flip. I want that just to be brown before I flip it. So I turned it up. You see how it's bubbling, it's cooking. I didn't flour it or anything because I just want like a little, a little char to it, a little crispiness to it. And I use the tongs with this. You gotta have a good pan. I need a fry pan, so you look at that. I need a fry pan. But this doesn't take long to cook. It's not that much grease. I might have even put it a little bit too much olive oil, but I don't want to stick. So this is about maybe three tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil. And it's extra virgin. Again, you can use vegetable oil. I choose to use this. That is cooking because this is quick. Maybe between three to five minutes to cook that. That's it. You don't want to overcook it. Three to five minutes for that. Can you put it in the oven too? Yeah, because I can do a lot of baked stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so while that's still cooking, you guys, this is what I'm using. I'm using a very big, you can use small ones, but I'm going to use this thick uh, flat tortilla. And I'm going to say, you know the thing say, don't try this at home unless you experience. Well, <laughs> I'm about to show you guys something. Come over here, stand right here. Okay. I'm going to continue to let that cook. Now I'm about to turn this on. And this is my open face file. Oh my God. Yeah. Open face. Oh. On there, cause you know why? It gets that char. I want it. It's not gonna. I'm gonna fold it in half. And if you use a little one, you could use a little one. Just watch. You don't want it to really burn, but it's only gonna take a couple of seconds. I just want to get that black coating. See how I get that right I like there? That yeah. Because you know why? When you bite into it, you want it to be crispy. You know. So I just move it around. You guys, a few seconds. Don't burn your house down. Don't burn your taco. And you can use little ones. I choose to use this big one because I'm making a big taco. See? A few seconds. I just wanted to get that char on there. Like I like. And this is really cooking really good. You look at that. Yeah, I can smell it now. I need mm. to turn it. Yeah. I just want to slice. I'm going to turn it off. There it is. And that's good. Look at that. See the burn? That's all I want to. Um. I think I need a plate. Yeah, I think I need a plate. Stand back, son. <laughs> I'm going to use my star. I'm going to use my star. And I charred the outside. And I'm going to put it just like this. And what you want to do first, that's cooking. Is that the sauce is everything. Put that sauce down first. Because without this sauce, I'm doing a lot. Without this sauce, you're not going to really get that taste you're looking for and then whatever cheese you choose it could be mozzarella cheese i'm going with some sh um shredded cheese here and we're going to put a little bit down right there and this is what i want to do i want this cheese to melt so this fish is ready i'm telling you it just took about five minutes you guys and i'm just going to put it on there see that fish pieces this is big I mean that should be a three and look you guys only gonna see me make one but I got about maybe two more to make for everybody <laughs> and I'm gonna stick my cheese on top of here so I wanted to melt you could buy lettuce already um you know they got the lettuce shredded lettuce you could get that they do yeah they got shredded lettuce or you could get this and I had a spoon right here because my taco is not complete. But tomatoes. I love tomatoes. And these tomatoes are fresh. These are organic tomatoes. 
I got a good sale of six dollars for these. You don't have to buy six dollars tomatoes. I like good tomatoes. And guess what? Double coat that. Joint. Double coat this. I want to taste it for you guys, but guess what? It may be hot. I just took that fish off. But this is a fish taco in Soulful Tea House. It's a nice cod fish. You know, it's not really fried. It's like pan seared real good for four to five minutes. What Soulful Tea Taco Fish Sauce. I told you guys how to make it. I'm going to have it up on my um, Soulful Tea Facebook. And this is what it looked like. And it's an open flat tortilla. So you just fold it and you do like this. I'm going to take a little bite. <laughs> I ain't eat breakfast today. Mmm. I'm sorry. The sauce is amazing. Oh gosh. <laughs> that tastes really good. I can tell. It looks like it tastes really good. So, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Of course, thank you. Like and share and subscribe. Try this fish taco with this sauce. That is a good sauce, you guys. Once you do it, you're going to want to take that sauce everywhere you go. When you have fish tacos. Well, the, the sauce ain't no secret no more. Right, it's not a secret, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for tuning in for Soulful Tea. See you guys next week. Oh, something came flying out the mouth. Oh my God. Family and friends, everybody's like, oh my god, this stuff is so good. So